Hey oh, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to give you a quick little update on my solar system. If you haven't seen my first video yet on my solar setup, I will add a link up there. I'm also going to make a little upgrade to the system today and I'm really excited about that. If you enjoy the video or find it helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. All right. As for the update, everything seems to be working well. My solar panel hasn't blown off my roof yet, so that's good. I've had no leaks where I ran the wiring in through the hatch and the charge controller and battery seem to be functioning properly. The one and only problem that I've had is that I've been sort of obsessively checking the voltage on the battery, making sure it's maintaining a charge and that the solar panel's doing its job. The battery's pretty expensive and I don't want to kill it after having it for two weeks. At first I just didn't know if the solar panel was going to provide enough energy to run the refrigerator 24-7. Because of the fact that it's winter and the days are short, I definitely had some doubts. It also doesn't help that depending on the orientation that I'm parked in, my roof box sometimes shades that solar panel. And then because I mounted the solar panel directly under the roof racks, those are always blocking the sun just a little bit. Up until today, the way I've been checking my battery levels is by squeezing into this tight little space with a voltmeter, putting a lead on each of those terminals, and checking it the old school way. As you can imagine, doing this several times a day gets old pretty quick. I did a little research, however, and found that there was an easy and fairly inexpensive way to solve this problem. I found this nifty product made by Renogy. It's a Bluetooth module that plugs directly into your charge controller. You then download the Renogy Bluetooth app and connect to it with your phone. I ordered this item on Amazon and it was at my door two days later. I'll add a link for this product in my description for anybody who's interested. Now Renogy makes two different Bluetooth units. This one is the BT-1. This is compatible with the Adventurer, Wanderer, and Rover charge controllers. If you have a different charge controller, you may want the BT-2. Installation could not have been easier. I just got a little bit of Velcro. Cut a little piece off to fit the unit. Slapped it on the back there. Plug the wiring into the RS-232 port. And stuck the Bluetooth module on the carpet there right next to my charge controller. And just to make things look nice and tidy, I hid the excess cable there right behind the battery. The green power light should come on once it's connected to the charge controller. And a blue light below that should come on once it's connected to the app. Once connected, all the pertinent information should be right there on your phone. No more trying to squeeze in behind the driver's seat with that voltmeter. All right, folks, that's it. Easy peasy. And by the way, my fears of my solar system not producing enough energy to keep my refrigerator going seem to be unfounded. Even right now with the short days, it seems to be producing plenty of electricity. Thank you very much for watching.